here, I'm Queer, and it's time for a Metacore video. Insert snazzy intro here, cause I'm not talented enough to create one. Yeah! Hey every people, so because my hair is in this fabulous mohawk, I know, I know it's not the best, but you know, I tried, I'm trying to be a bit punk, and I haven't mastered mohawks yet. I used like three different products still didn't perfectly work, but I, I try my best here, and I also, I want to just make a fun simple little video, so I want to talk about my kind of all around like tips about how to take care of dyed hair, both with making color last longer, and with not completely damaging it, because I, I did that, and I've learned from my mistakes, I, I like to think, or at least I hope. So I've dyed my hair a few times, I'm not really sure how many times, but everyone wants to think like, five six maybe seven but like not too high compared to some people but enough that i kind of know the basics by now so some hair dyeing basics first if you're gonna bleach your hair uh definitely follow the directions look up information on that type of hair bleach that brand too just make sure you know what you're doing like a hundred percent uh also make sure you put like Vaseline or something along your like hairline on your ears so you don't bleach your skin. Also do that for hair dye so the hair dye doesn't stain. But especially because you don't want to bleach your forehead and your ear flesh. And also make sure your hair is like doesn't have any product in it, but it's like a bit dirty and like oily. Like it's getting to the point where you're like, hey, I should definitely wash have washed this like two days ago then that's the point when you should bleach your hair because when your hair is extra oily it keeps it from getting damaged as much when you bleach it because the oil kind of protects it and it doesn't affect the bleaching or at least i haven't noticed it affects the quality of the bleaching at all so yeah so bleach your hair when it's a bit oily and dirty and follow the bleaching instructions really really well make sure you know what you're doing and don't bleach your skin and then when it's dyed, how to maintain the color is wash your hair um, about, space it out like about three days between every wash. Get dry shampoo if you need to. And I space out hair washing um, for the first wash. I space it out about like four days after like when you've dyed it. And of course you rinse it after you dye it. But like I space my first wash of freshly dyed hair about four days afterwards just to make sure the color like really really sets in and so space out your hair washing to like a couple times a week like every three days i'd say i do about every three days three or four now my hair does not get oily at all so i'm able to do that you might need to wash your hair like a little more but try to space out as much as you can also use cold water when you're washing your hair i know cold showers suck but it really does help the color stay in because warm water will make the ha hair color fade a lot faster. And I'm having a lot of trouble saying the word water in this video, which is a bit inconvenient. But yes, use cold water. And also use a shampoo and conditioner for dyed hair. I use this one by Bedhead and it's Dumb Blonde. And I got it for $4, but it's usually more. I got this at like a liquidation kind of place, really cheap. And I really like it, it tones this one I use, it tones your hair a bit to help get rid of brassy undertones, but it doesn't do it as much as like a full blown toner would. But I like it and it works really well and my hair dye hasn't faded super super fast with this. It's lasting a pretty long time and I partially credit this. And also with hair washing, you should, and I have a bunch of products that's next to me, well actually I have three, but that's a bunch to me. I deep condition my hair uh, once a week I used the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist and it was $3 at Dollarama and I really like this. It's a really, really great deep conditioner and I definitely would say deep conditioner hair, it helps so much and I've actually done it when my hair was really, really damaged and I needed something that was like gonna help as much as it possibly could is I deep conditioned my hair overnight. Like I put it in before I went to bed, had a towel on my pillow, went to sleep and rinse out in the morning and it helps so so much but don't let your hair get to the point where you got to do that like deep condition it keep it from getting that dry and damage and then i also to help protect my hair is after i wash it i put in this 
hair repair and defend lotion, which I find helps. I, this was $4 at the dollar store. Basically, you take a couple pumps, put it in. It helps protect your hair from damage. It helps kind of heal some damage. But again, this is more of a preventative. You need to be using this when your, your hair isn't damaged to keep it from being damaged. And then some tentative tips, as in I haven't yet tried these but I, they should work, which is hair masks. Hair masks might help. I haven't personally tried them yet. I know you can get them at Shoppers Drug Mart. Like, you know how they have those Shoppers Drug Mart brand displays of all the masks? They should have some hair masks in there. Those could help. I haven't tried that yet, but I will to see what it does. But I know they work for other people. And then also, don't bleach your hair too much. This does seem obvious, but if you dry your hair a lot, I would recommend, um, Try to not bleach it too many times. That's what like completely wrecked my hair. Is try to limit the amount of times you bleach it, and maybe just bleach your roots. And then there's also a hair dye remover, which I haven't personally tried yet. But you could try that to just remove any hair dye um, instead of bleaching it if you've bleached it before. Because then if you if it comes out, then you have the bleached hair, and you can maybe tone it if you need to, so it's all cut in the same color, and then dye your hair. I haven't yet tried using hair dye remover yet, so that's like a tentative suggestion. I haven't personally tried it to see if it works, but I, and I will let you know in a future video if, if you want, and if I do that, which I probably will, whether or not it works. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video on some dyed hair care maintenance tips for keeping it from getting completely wrecked and kind of helping to maintain the color a bit hope you enjoyed let me know if you want to see more dyed hair related videos in the future and what you'd want to see them on and be sure to like and comment and subscribe and until next time i was here uh, and until next time i was here i'm still consistently queer hope this wasn't too many core video uh, i could not talk this video i'm sorry snazzy outro music Snazzy outro music, snazzy outro music, please subscribe.